It is. <gasps> Hey Harry Potter fans, Peter Kenneth here. Welcome back to the Potter Collector Channel, where we are a community of collectors. Today, the Harry Potter trading card series continues thanks to one of you guys. I received this box here of Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire trading cards produced by Artbox from Potter Collector community member Jen in Connecticut. This is one of the most shocking things I opened from one of you guys because these are expensive to purchase on eBay. They're no longer produced. And I have a note from Jen that says, like you, the thrill for me is opening all of the packs more than actually possessing the cards. The fact that something rare and awesome is just sitting there on someone's shelf for 15 years is crazy. I knew what to look for and you opening this box in a video would provide much more joy than anything I could do. She also says that she's a potion master aka a pharmacist so she put a few drops of Felix Felicis liquid luck on this box. So Jen, a massive thank you to you for sending this. I am thrilled to be able to open another one of these boxes and also thrilled to share it with you and the rest of the Potter Collector community. If you are new to the Potter Collector channel, welcome. We're happy to have you here. And if you are a returning Potter Collector community member, welcome back. So if you don't know, I started a series of these art box Harry Potter trading cards. In these boxes are 24 packs of Harry Potter trading cards. But what you can find are cards that were autographed by the actors prop cards, which are little pieces of the props from the films, or costume cards, which are little pieces of the costumes that we used in the films. For me, these are probably the most exciting thing to open because you never know what you're gonna pull. You never know when a signed card is just gonna pop up. If we pull a signed card, prepare for some celebration. I'm wearing my Goblet of Fire shirt in honor of the Goblet of Fire trading cards. All right, let's take a look at the box here. So we have the front of the box, which shows Harry Potter and a Hungarian horn tail. Right here, if you're looking for these cards, this is what you want to look for. Look for randomly inserted chase, costume, and autograph cards. Artbox made different variations of these cards. Some are for retail, some are for special order, etc. But you always want to see autograph cards. If it doesn't say autograph cards or costume cards, that means there will not be autograph or costume cards in the box. Another thing I always recommend, never purchase packs that are not in a sealed box. What some sellers do is they open up the box and weigh the packs to try to determine which packs have special cards in them. And then they sell you the lighter packs and say, oh, you might get a signed card or a costume card when really they've already pulled those out of the box itself. So don't let yourself get tricked and waste your money on single pack purchases or even a box that has all the packs in it, but the box has been opened. Constant vigilance. You never know when someone has replaced a heavier pack with a lighter pack from another box. Here is the back of the box, which says it has 90 foil stamped base cards, nine rare chase cards, four box topper cards, so there will be one in this box, then autograph, costume, prop, and cinema film cell cards. We have all of the champions on the different sides of the box. And this is box number 1,169 out of 6,000 produced. Here we go, the seal has been broken. Enemies of trading cards, beware. All right, let's open this thing up. Ooh, okay, so the first card we see, we see that box topper card. It is a foil Grindy Low card. So in stores, this is how you would see the box on the counter. The top folds back behind the packs, and then you would select what pack or packs you were going to purchase. Let's take a quick look at one of these packs. Here's the front and the back, and it started. Okay, I'm very nervous. <laughs> If you guys have seen trading card unboxings before here on the channel, you know what to do. Send that magic. If you have not seen one of these videos before, what I need you to do is send all of the magic through the screen to the Potter Collector Library to help us pull rare cards, especially autograph cards. Oh, I can't believe we're opening another one of these boxes. Okay, here we go. Blood of the enemy. I don't want eternal glory. I just want to be... Carrying Horntail, Professor McGonagall. So they have these really fun character cards too. The first task. Let's start with the youngest. Lovely. Potter Duck. I don't think anyone says Potter Duck in Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. All right, so that is the very first, this is just an information card, but that is the first pack. Here we go. 
pack number two. Now, rare cards can come when we least expect them, so be prepared. He's back. Voldemort's back. Durmstrang's entry. Mad-Eye Moody, a.k.a. Well, spoiler alert if you haven't seen Goblet of Fire. <gasps> Harry, cover yourself up. All right, moving right along. No need to panic. We still have plenty of packs left to open, so no need to panic just yet. Shall we start with the youngest? Lovely. <coughs> that was the golden egg, if you didn't know. Cho. Harry, take my waist. That almost sounded like Snape a little bit. Oh, we've got something. There's something in here. There's something in this pack. Let's not panic just yet. So this is either a prop or a costume card. The way you can tell is there's like a really thick card right here. It's probably a costume card, but whose costume is this going to be? It could be a prop card too. I don't know. We have our first rare card. There's Neville. Let's not rush this. Is this the rare card? This is the rare card, I think. It is... <gasps> A prop card! We got a prop card! Prop cards are actually the rarest of the three cards that you can get. The autograph, the costume, or the prop cards. Prop, holy mother of pearl, is that beautiful. What is this? It's like super shiny. The Niffler in me is freaking out right now. It has something to do with the Yule Ball. Maybe Yule Ball curtains? <gasps> These are also numbered on the back. Let's see how rare it is. Holy cow. Only 275 of these in the world. We have number 244 out of 75. Congratulations, this Harry Potter prop card contains authentic prop material used in the film Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, Yule Ball Drapes. I mean, I always knew that the Yule Ball Drapes were like super shiny and stuff, but I didn't realize they were this shiny. That is some shiny material. Jen, thank you for the Felix Felicis that you dumped on this box. We pulled a prop card. One of 275 in the world. I'm gonna put that right there for now. And let's see, we got Dumbledore and Cedric and Cho. Y'all sent some serious magic for that one. We went the longest time without one of these prop cards when we were opening up these boxes. If you're interested in seeing the other unboxings, check the description down below. I will link the playlist. But we've opened probably like 10, maybe 12 boxes. And I think we've maybe pulled two prop cards out of all of those boxes. Incredible that we pull a prop card from this one. Cedric. Champions arrive. Mos Modra! Kill the spare! Akio Firebolt! Moving along. We're opening up Harry Potter trading cards! She's done it again. I don't know what she's done. Lucius Malfoy. We meet at last. Three very dangerous tasks. Oh, there we go. <laughs> is, is that a student? Fleur Delacour. All right, keep sending that magic, guys. We need to pull an autograph card. I mean, a prop card. Holy mother of pearl. That was incredible. But we also need to pull an autograph card. Ooh, okay, so we pulled our very first foil chase card. And this is Mr. Harry Potter with his wand at the ready. I also forgot to mention on the back of the chase cards is a puzzle piece. And if you get all nine of them, you can put the puzzle together. So we'll put this aside and see how many of the puzzle we can put together. This is number six of nine. Then we have Rita Skeeter. Don't do it, Harry. Don't go with him. Ooh, I think we have another chase card. We do, we have a Grindy Low, and this is number eight of nine. So we have the Triwizard Cup there. Cedric's lost in the maze. Keep sending that magic, y'all. Professor Snape.
Ooh, we got another one in a row. Holy cow. And this is another variation of Harry at the ready with his wand. And it's number one. We see Fleur and Cedric. All right, so we have three of the nine chase cards. I've never pulled all nine of them, but we will do our best to piece together as much of that puzzle as possible. I'm still amazed by that prop card. I mean, the shine of it, just to see like how shiny that fabric actually is, incredible. My father and I have a bet, you see. Oh my gosh, we have another chase card? Holy cow, how do we pull four in a row? How is that possible? Another version of Harry, and it's number five. We've never pulled four in a row. That's ridiculous. Is that Hermione Granger with Victor Crumb? Next pack, this one feels like it has less cards in it, but again, I am so bad at guessing based on like the feel of stuff, but we'll see. Dragons, you're joking. Okay, it looks like I was wrong. There's no way you can ever trust my, you know, sense of the packs, because I don't think I've ever been right before. Although this one, no, this one doesn't. <laughs> I was going to say, this one feels heavier, though. Hello, father. Mom sent me a dress. Ooh, this is a checklist. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Here we go. It's not over until the fat lady portrait sings and we don't want her to sing, so let's hope it doesn't ever end. Come on, give us an autograph card. And I also don't think we've ever pulled all three autograph, costume, and prop from the same box. But aren't these beautiful cards? I mean, I love them. We have the shiny silver foiling underneath them, really nice pictures, screenshots from the movie. Don't give up, don't stop sending that magic. Keep sending magic. Here's Professor Snape. Oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man. My stomach is literally jumping up and down because we never know when something's gonna pop up. Okay, here we go, next pack. Oh, we got something else. We have something else. I think it's gonna be a costume card. We have another thick card there. It could be another prop. I don't know, but it's probably a costume card. Here we go. What's it gonna be? Give us something really rare and super cool. Igor Karkaroff from the Yule Ball. So it matches the prop card. That's a beautiful fabric. All right, let's see how rare this card is. 619 out of 800 of these costume cards. It says, congratulations. This Harry Potter costume card contains authentic material worn by Peja Bejalik as Igor Karkaroff in the film Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. We have our second rare card, Karkaroff's Yule Ball robes, and we have the matching Yule Ball curtains or drapes. Now all we have to do is pull an autograph card and we will have pulled all three of the rare variations of cards that you can pull from one of these art box boxes. Dragons, you're joking. Wanna go to the ball with me? Come on, autograph card. Come on, autograph card. We can do it. We got this. Send that magic. If you literally don't have your wand with you and you're not pointing the wand at the screen, please grab your wand, point it at the screen because we have got to pull an autograph card. The proud sons of Durmstrang. Harry Potter. It's a port key. There may be five or six packs left. Don't give up hope. We got this. Send that. Magic. Ooh, I think we have another foil chase card. All right, we have another Harry Potter card, and this is number two of nine, and we see a lot of the champion's faces. We may be able to make a lot of this puzzle from this box, which is fantastic. 
Here we go. That's my son, my boy! I won't have you behaving like a babbling, bumbling band of baboons. We have four packs left. Come on, Magic. Send that autograph card, Magic. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Oh, Harry, cover up. Come on, autograph card. I'm sending all of the wizardry magic for an autograph card. But, I mean, obviously, if we don't pull an autograph card, we pulled an even rarer than an autograph card, a prop card. But come on, let's make this the first box where we have pulled all three. Accio Firebolt. Accio autograph card. Two... More packs. Body Crouch Jr. Oh my gosh. <gasps> oh, no. Hold on. Ah. Last pack. Send all of the magic to this last pack, y'all. Victor Crumb. What's that? What's that white? All right, I'm not going to panic yet. But see that white strip? I don't know what that means. Oh, it's not. Oh my gosh. <gasps> my heart literally jumped and fell out of my body. <sighs> I don't think we pulled an autograph card. But we pulled something rarer than an autograph card. A prop card. One of 275 in the world. Wow, look at that thing. I would love to see the entire Great Hall looking like this. I mean, that would have been absolutely spectacular. All right, let's see how much of this puzzle we can make real quick. So we have all of Cedric's face, part of Harry's face. This goes here. And this goes down here. So not bad. We pulled a lot of puzzle pieces for this and created a good amount of this picture. Here are those two rare cards together. It's cool that they're both Yule Ball cards. It's like a matching set. Well, we didn't pull an autograph card, but we pulled a prop card, which is even more rare than an autograph card. Jen, another massive thank you for allowing me to open this box and share it with the rest of the Potter Collector community. That was incredibly kind, and I will do my absolute best to keep this series alive by buying more boxes as they come up for everyone here on the Potter Collector channel. As is true with the past trading card unboxing videos, I'm going to give away some of these non-rare cards to one of you guys. So if you would like a chance to win some of these cards that you saw today, check the description down below for information on how to enter. All you really need to do is leave a comment, like this video, and be subscribed to the Potter Collector channel. But you'll find all the information as well as entry date, etc. in the description down below. This is a worldwide giveaway, so anywhere in the world, I will send these cards to the winner. If you have any questions about Harry Potter or collecting, feel free to leave a comment down below. You can also join the Potter Collector community on Instagram at the Potter Collector or on Twitter at Potter Collector. Now it's time to like, comment, subscribe, and until next time, keep collecting. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new here, welcome. You can subscribe right up here. You can also look at some previously posted content down here. If you have any questions about Harry Potter books or collecting, please feel free to contact me. I'm always happy to help. But for now, I must go. See you next time. Whoa, where'd he go?